Hello, hello. Today I'll be showing you every piece of gear I have in here and going over the weights and costs of every item. But first, a message from my sponsor. Oh yeah, I don't have a sponsor. <laughs> so this is all my gear so far. The only thing I don't have in this picture is my thermals, but I do have them. And I'm gonna start with my Z-Packs Nero backpack first. And this is a very lightweight pack, as you can see here. And it is a bit pricey for the size, but even if this one doesn't work out, because I'm still testing, everything fits in, but it's a little tight. But if it doesn't work out, then I'll use it as just a day pack for my normal hike. I'm also looking at the Osprey 48 liter and the Waymark Evol. Then I have just an ordinary Z-Pax dry pack liner to keep everything dry. I put my quilt in here, my jacket, my winter clothes. And now on to my cold weather and rain gear. These gloves are from Mountain Hardware. They're all weather and they're pretty comfy and they seem like they'll do quite a good job in the winter or cold weather. I shouldn't be out there in too much of a cold. And then I have this Amazon Basics down jacket, which I'm pretty sure I'm gonna switch out because this is pretty bulky and it's not the right size. Then I have this Appalachian Gear Company beanie that's pretty warm and comfortable. And then I also have these outdoor recreation sun gloves and the sun hoodie. These are just to protect me from the sun whenever I'm in more open fields. And then I also have my little white hat that's gonna keep the sun out of my eyes and off of my face. And then here we have my rain gear. I have the Z-Packs jacket. I haven't been able to test this yet, but it does seem pretty comfy and it does have the zip pits for more breathability. You can then zip, get more airflow. And it's also got the front pocket, which is pretty handy to put your cell phone or any snacks. And then I also have the z packs rain pants as well. I haven't been able to test these out either. And then I have their umbrella. I'm gonna use this for more protection from the rain and also from the sun because there'll be times I'm walking through fields or even just on roads where there's no shade and that'll give me additional shade if needed. Then on to the sleep system. This is the Z-Pax Altiplex tent. It's a one person single wall and it packs up pretty small to pack away and it's also just under a pound. You need 10 stakes. I think I had it set up wrong the first two nights. Here I have it set up pretty well and it looks like there's a lot more room and even though I'm missing a 10 stake that I lost this past weekend, if you've seen in my other video. Here I've got the Thermarest sleeping pad. This fills up pretty quickly, especially with the pump sack that comes with it. And it seemed pretty comfy. I've only slept on it twice, and I was a side sleeper. This is the Z-Pax 20 degree Fahrenheit quilt, and it's pretty comfortable from what I've experienced so far. And it definitely kept me warm on the two nights that I've used it. And then I have the, the Sea to Summit Arrows Ultralight Pillow. This thing fills up really quick, and it's best if you let out a little bit of air to get a more comfortable fit. And then I have the Enlightened Equipment Torrid Booties. These things are pretty comfortable. I haven't really tried them. I just put them on for a little bit, but they're supposed to keep your feet warm better than socks. I have 10 Z-Pack tent stakes. And then for the clothes, I'm still not set on these ones, but I just have a dry wicking shirt and just some normal running shorts. Both of these dry quickly. And then I have Columbia cargo convertible pants that'll zip off in the shorts. And then I also have the REI gaiters here, and these have worked amazingly well. Then I also have two pairs of darn tough hiking socks. I actually bought four of them because these things are pretty comfortable. Here we have my buff, which will protect me from UV and insects. And then we also have my Ultra Lone P5s. These are pretty amazing shoes so far from my experience. The traction is great unless you're on the wet wood. Now on to my food bag and cook system. And I have a Z-Pax bear bagging kit that has my food bag and I've got three to four days of food in here. And also in here, I do have my Snow Peak titanium cup cooking pot. And in that, I have the stove here that I got, the BRS stove. And this is lightweight and from my few uses of it, it works well. Fuel can that is too big and I need to buy the smaller one. And Just a normal big lighter. I'll have at least two in my Sea to Summit light spoon onto the water system that I'll be using. And I have 
two one liter smart water bottles because these seem to be the most durable and they work well with the Sawyer. You can attach the Sawyer right to it and as you can see here I do have the Sawyer squeeze and I'll be using this with the smart water bottles in combination with the Cnoc bag here. This is a two liter bag and then in my Diddy bag I have miscellaneous first aid kit. I do need to add a lot more to my first aid kit so this is not the full kit. I just have the Luco tape, sleeping pad repair kit in here and tent repair kit to help charge my phone and other electronics. I got the Anchor 20,000 milliamp. It's supposed to charge an iPhone 12 up to five times. I have an iPhone 13. I would have hoped the same amount. Hand sanitizer, insect spray, and my portable duvet, my Swiss Army knife, and I also have my Z-Packs wallet. And I also have my Nightcore headlamp here. You've seen that in action in my weekend backpacking video if you haven't go check that out then i have my potty trowel here to be to help me dig cat holes sit pad here that came with my z-packs backpack put it down and sit on it if you don't want to get wet dirty whatever see knock trekking poles these are the only ones long enough for the altiplex tent to set up correctly now on to their camera equipment i have iPhone 13 Pro Max and I got this specifically for this trip because I want to take great photos and videos to document on YouTube for you guys to watch and then also I've got a tripod here for it that has a couple uses I might switch this one out before I actually go and then I have the GoPro Hero 10 along with the three-way tripod and the drone is a Mavic Air 2. This, I'm still unsure if this is gonna actually make the cut. It is pretty heavy. Uh, the whole pack is about six pounds. I will link as many of these in the description as possible, as well as lighter pack links, so you can see how much the gear weighs. I'm not the type of person to usually spend this much money, but I'm glad I did and I'm ready for this challenge. And I hope you got something out of this video, whether it be what kind of gear you might want or information that you didn't have before so if you can comment down below on your kind of gear or any gear suggestions and i gotta get out of here